done. Ooh. Behold the mating dance of the XC90 and the Range Rover Sport seen here in its first time it's been filmed in its natural environment. Yeah, I think we killed them both. Yes, and... Seems to be stuck. The XC90 Claims has now been impregnated by the Range Rover Sport. <laughs> uh, right, but luckily we're on, a, we're on a map here. So anyway, better do your intro, dude. Hello everybody, this is the Young Gamer here, and today we are on Thin Tires doing another mod review. I'm joined by MAG. Hello, what's up? Right, I suppose we should talk about which mods we've got here. We're doing SUVs at the moment. Um, I would have had the wall lined up, like in Top Gear, you know, but... I wanted to see that, I wanted to see the two cars do the mating dance. <laughs> exactly. So basically what we have here, starting from over this part here, we Range Rover Sport by Shark777. We've got two Volvo XC90s. We do. Now this is the standard XC90. These are one of our favourite modders, Hones, has made these. Uh, we're going to look at them all in a bit more detail, but this is basically... Why can't we... That's, right. one, that's one more one at the moment. That's the XC90, and then we've got an XC90... Wee! <laughs> he's so keen to get going, he does a little jump. Um, yeah, so he's uh, he's a track and go. That's a real thing. We'll have a, I'll put a picture up of what, when we come to have a look at this vehicle in a minute. Uh, and then over here we've got the... Uh, the Jeep. Grand Cherokee. Grand Cherokee. Now this one comes with a little added surprise, which I'll look at. In fact, should we do this? Have a look at this one first. Beer. Um, so everyone is interested. The map we're on is called the uh, DCMT Raceway Brown Bow Bomber. Bomber. This is made by Dr. Gonzo. It's available on the Spin Tires NL. I dare say it's available on the um, UV web website as well. But it's basically it's just a track. It's just a race track. Um, that actually looks quite cool. Look, great track. It does. Yeah, it does. Um, so I tell you, let's start with the uh, the one that's l I've got to admit is least impressive, which is the Range Rover. Um, so doesn't it have a number plate. It doesn't. It's so new. It doesn't even have a number plate. Isn't that cool? Oh no! I know, right? It's so amazing. Um, so I think we're actually going to have to go into this like thing. Like the Range here. Rover is just too cool. Oh my gosh! We have to we have to get a car to shove it into the garage. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, it's repair. Oh, is it? I thought I'd rescued it to the garage already. The Volvo killed it. You rescued the thing. There we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the. You know, there's no add-ons. There's no trailers. The view is simply on the bonnet, so it's fairly bog standard uh, Range Rover. You know, there's nothing fantastically fantastic about it. I keep them all in high gear. I keep them all onto default wheels. I put um, diff lock on. Turn off the parking brake. wheels break. on. Turn off the parking brake. And let's go. Now, this, I'll tell you something about this map. If you like drifting, this, this map's is a, a good drifting yeah, map. It looks like one. It is. It's really difficult to. Uh, I found it quite difficult, especially with these cars. With the, I don't know if this is this game joystick supported yet. I don't know. Whoa, nice. But our steering wheel wouldn't be too good for drift. Oh, yeah, don't get caught in the rocks. Yeah, don't get caught in the rocks at top speed. That was not a good start. And on that bombshell, there's not a lot of winching points below. Now we've got spin tires plus. That means our winches work. When the engine's dead. Like, look. Go on, yes. turn it over. Turn it over. Yeah. Oh, don't bury it even further in the flipping. Yeah. Don't bury it even further. The flipping thing. Go on, turn me over. Am I going to have to rescue? You're going to have to rescue, won't do it? Yes. Okay. Rescue to garage. Now, one, the one, there is one thing about this little truck here. It didn't. I did. I did a crash before in it, and it didn't rescue very well at all. So let's have another quick look at this one. But as I say, it's not. It's not. There's not a huge amount to it. It does look good though. Also, you notice. I don't think it's one of these mods that gets dirty. It doesn't seem to be getting dirty, does it? Oh, don't go over there again. I'll take it a bit slower this time. Whoa, nice. Uh, though, anyway, eh? I'll, you know, actually I was saying, our steering wheel have been too good because it doesn't have enough. Uh, it's just free. F it's like yeah, very. Yeah, it's for trucks, him, isn't it? It's for Euro trucks. And, yeah, oh, drifting's my, yeah. really hard on it. Yeah, because yeah. it turns to. It's got like 900 degrees of turn or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, rubbish at drifting. Or, 
Oh, yeah, I'm not the best at drifting, but if it's on... I'm trying to find a drifting corner. If it's, with, here, if it's with a controller, I can drift pretty well. There's rocks down here I need to avoid. When you put the power down on this, it really... It, that's when the back, back end spins out, just like in reality, I suppose. Looking pretty good though, isn't it? Well, you're lucky it doesn't have GTA physics, where you can just turn the wheels and it t you could do flips and everything in yeah. the air. Oh, yeah. GTA physics for you. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good drifting corner. Unless it was, yeah, but not for me though, because I'm rubbish at it. Uh, anyway, there's a big jump there, so you would have got caught on that. And yeah, get well, out of the rocks! I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Whoa! Anyway, there is a little, there is a nice little part on this map, which uh, we'll have a look at in a minute. There is a, there is a, there is a, uh, a, bridge, a bridge jump, a figure of eight, and there's, there's is you get to jump over it. Uh, yeah, I like bridge jumps, they're cool. Yeah, okay, so what we're going to do now is... We, whoa, that was pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to fast forward to that bridge jump. And see if we can... Eee. Let's see if we can actually make it properly in this thing. Crawler gear, it seems to manage okay. It doesn't do too bad. And crawler gear, I think the wheels get lifted up. Right, do you think that it automatically gives it higher suspension? Yep. I don't think so. But you can have a look at that. I don't, I don't think that's the thing, though. I don't think anyone's done that, have they? No. It'd be quite that's a nice little thing to do, though, wouldn't it? That, that's what I thought. No, it doesn't. Oh. Right, so. Turn the car. We'll line ourselves up. Just go go for it. Normally, uh, normally you approach this jump from the other side, but we're going to punch from, approach from this side. From here? Right, go see if we can get some speed up before we even get there. I bet you've other sides higher than this side. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. I'm just gonna go face plodgy into it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is think, higher. I don't think it is. It's is a it? tad higher, yeah, to make the jump. Right. Okay. So he didn't make it. So let's have a look at our next mod because these are the ones that are more interested. Actually, is the. Uh, so have a look at first with the Grand Cherokee. We've got a I'm double click. Grand Cherokee. There we go. Now this one here does come with some options. Um, so what we come with... Oh, oh, there we go. What we come with here is beer. <laughs> Where's the beer? In the boot. Wait, the beer has got a tyre as well. Beer in the boot. <laughs> Oops. What the heck Beer in the boot. With a tyre. With a tyre. Um, you can get a Thule roof rack. You can get a... Yes, yeah, so I need them with a kit. What is? Yes, this is a bit odd. Up oh, there we go. It rescued uh, itself. Okay, uh, we won't we won't take that round thing around with us. We won't take the thawed thing because it's uh, got garage points only. You got off road tires. Mm. They lower the suspension. They don't do anything. Off road wheels, highway wheels, and we'll stick to default. Okay, so this one here. Same thing. This one here. Turn it. High let's gear. use the garage, and it just teleports it back to the way we came. Well, we don't. We, don't, we, we was in the garage. Oh. So right, we go. Now the problem with this one is, it is not very fast. It's a bit of a wuss, in fact. So this is now in, you know, auto mode. And that's the fast. This is about as fast as it goes. Does the uh, high make it even slower? Yeah, uh, we can put it in higher than this. It doesn't. Uh, it does that. Just does that. <laughs> it stopped. Yeah, it's not very good at the heels. <laughs> but this one does. This does uh, thing. It looks cool. Is it one of these ones that gets dirty when you drive it? Doesn't seem to be getting too much dirty. It looks cooler, doesn't it? It's a lovely looking vehicle. But this one does come with a little hidden surprise that will, which puts an end to the arguments about cockpit views because look at this oh my yep gosh that is the best cockpit view we've I had, think we've had ever yeah and you can sort of move around in it so you know they were saying oh we can't put cockpit views on because it will make people sick well guess what boys I ain't feeling sick right, it won't make people I get all the rolling Oops. I get all the rolling over I, I can sit in the back seat oh no I can't that would have been cool. We, well, I don't know where I'm going. You're going the opposite direction. Ah. I get way. over rolling over. Does it, wait, wait. Do the pedals move? Nah. No. 
But if, but if you, I mean, imagine if this was track IR supported. That would be cool, wouldn't but it? It's, yeah, it's a bit glitchy. It's a little bit, yeah, no, but it's, yeah. it's, it's certainly better than anything I've seen so far yeah. on cockpit views. Especially the way this, the wheel is spinning backwards and forwards there. That looks really cool. Right, up the, up the hill, come on, up we go. No view from the mirror yet, though. But, you know, if they, if, if a modder can do this, then they can. you'd think the developer could easily do it and make it better. Yeah, because it won't really make people sick. If you have, if you have a strong stomach, you probably just go yay, bounce around. Well, you can, but it means it gives you the choice. You can have it in here if you want it. You don't have to have to have, to yeah. have it in here. You can have you know if they did it made it like your truck, so you could move your head around a bit and poke your head out the window, that sort of thing. That'd be cool. But still, it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice looking vehicle. Now, as you can imagine, we don't need to use the banking here. <laughs> As you can imagine, this thing won't um, do it. No, this 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 barely even gets up the ramp. Oh. Yes, let alone. Where is the jump anyway? Is it just over here? Yeah, it's just over there. All we right, need I'm to see. It from we the need other to. Direction. We need to see it fail. All right. We need to every. Ooh, that looked pretty cool. All right, we'll go up this side this time. Every vehicle needs to try the jump. Every okay. Every vehicle needs to try the jump. Will Rock it go into the? the will it go into the pits of grave? Pits of graves with the. Oh yeah, the pit of grey. Okay, then we'll see. With the right, Range Rover, yeah. probably I've in, yes. I've got it in. I've got it in low gear here just to get over these rocks. Hey, you know my auntie had two Range Rovers, two of them's, the no, white not, one. Oh, the, the Range Rovers. Yeah, she didn't have uh, Cherokee, Ch Grand Cherokee, did she? No. Cherokees are nice. I like Jeeps. Yeah, I saw one just yesterday. This is what caught my eye. I saw one yesterday towing a caravan as I was on my way home from work and I thought, oh, that looks nice. It was one of these ones, one of these newer ones. Uh, the ones with the like, right, moustache grill, like BM, uh, Beamer. What say Beam and Jeep? Is that a moustache grill? Why is that called a moustache grill? That's what I like to call them, moustache grills. Hey, you know Beamer... Right, ready? <laughs> internal view or external view? External view, do you actually see it fail? Okay, here you know, we go, here we go. You know BMW, you know their, their grills are meant to look like moustaches? Are they? That's where they're separated. Here we go. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make the jump. We. <laughs> 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 oh, Bosh. At least it landed upright. Yeah, we got a big mud mud stain on it. That's just smashed up. Hey, nice, nice uh, suspension. Suspension there. Purple Look, nice bit. Of, yeah, purple. Nice bit of detail there. Right then, so now we move on to XC90 Normal. The XC90 Normal. Oh. So you get options here: off-road wheels, which look a little, which look okay, but we'll stick with the defaults. What's the wheel? The wee -woo -wee -woo, <laughs> which basically is a police light. <laughs> you get a police light with it, which is obviously why it's called wee woo wee woo. <laughs> you get two thousand liters of fuel, two tons of fuel. Five hundred repair points and two garage points. So it carries loads of stuff. So wait a minute. A light can carry two tons of fuel. <laughs> five hundred. Uh, well, sounds good though. Five hundred kilograms of steel, and parts and all that, Oops. and two. Not like a good start. Two huge boxes of rations. Yeah, it's nice they've done the um, the light the light blue. Now this was another one that you really. It really flipping spins all over the place. If I can put diff lock on and all wheels on, because that seems to be a bit easier. Like you did with the Range Rover and the Chariot. Whoa, plonk! We should take a screenshot of it going over one of these jumps, shouldn't we? Whoa! Let's see, this one handles. Whoa! These here would be good for Paris Dakar rally trucks. Paris Dakar rally trucks. Yeah. The Dakar rally. Whoa! Oh, just oh, I thought I'd caught it. Thought I'd caught it, but I hadn't. Oh my! Now I'm all over the place. Ugh! My, oh my! Ah! Oh, I'm really struggling here. Right, come on, bring it under control. There we go. Right, let's try and drift around this corner down here. You probably will. Oh. <laughs> Just drift up into that bush. <laughs> no, we actually done it quite well, but the no, rock. I was going too fast, and the rock 
Do you know, let me tell you how you drift properly on how? in re, in get video games. How? Well, you can't do it in thin ties because the parking brake's terrible. But you just oh, brakes it. Yeah. You put the parking brake. How is that you you're just, supposed to do? You just steer. That's the uh, yeah. That's how you drift. I think it's a bit more t technical than that, though. Surely. That's how you do it in video games. Oh, in video games. Yeah. I might go around the banking. Yeah, you do donuts. Right. Right. This. Oh, this thing might actually make this jump, though. It probably will. Go on, drift. Oh, almost. Right, where is it? Where's the jump of doom? I was down here. The jump of Mordor. Ah. ah. Oh. oh. No damage. Whoa. Wee. Right, you have to put it into thingy gear soon. I want one of these vehicles to make this jump. This one does have a number plate, XC90, but it's obviously brand new as well because they haven't put a proper number plate on it. Well, it might just came out of production because it says XC... Are we stuck? I'm grounded. I know that bombshell. Or that bombshell. I've just gone exactly the same way as I went the last time. The only problem is, the, the, it, I think part of the problem with drifting is the wheels turn quite slowly because we haven't got a steering wheel, this so it's game, difficult to... This game's not meant for drifting. No. Right, here we go. If it was a drifting game, yes. Yeah, it's true. If it was a game specific like, for drifting, like something like Drift. Brian McRae Rally or something like that. Down, bam, bam. You could drift at a slow speed of mew. Right, we ready? Yep. This thing will make it. I you know think? it will. Yeah. Unless it just fails and nose plants, but yeah. Just go for it. You think? Go. Are we close enough? Are we far enough away? That, that's not fair. Isn't it? But go. Go, 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 go. Look at the jump properly. So we hit that thing at the front a bit so far, didn't we? we grounded. Have we got any rescue? To, have we got any garage points? Yeah. Oh, repair. That's yep. good. We... <laughs> Did we repair everything? There we go. Yeah, that's nice. The only problem is we're kind of stuck here. We're wedged, and that's the problem for the other ones. Try and drive. Um... No, you have to come off the van and oh, start yeah. the engine again. I should be able to win now, there's no winch points, is there? Oh. You could actually winch to the other ones. And just oh! Rip. Come on, keep going forward, just let oh, no, I'm trying to go in reverse! Oh! Yeah! Jump! 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 Oh! Yeah, you can't reverse, you're both wheels are off the ground. That's true, I wonder why the wheels aren't spinning. Have you got your parking brake on, maybe? Let's just see if there is any way to... Oh, no, there is nowhere... Oh, what if I can... Re oh, no. <laughs> I can reach to that. <laughs> Actually, if I reach to that, can I pull the... Can I pull it back, back down? Wait, go. Turn off your parking brake. Oh! It's pulling that towards me. Turn off your parking brake. And try... And try... Yeah, both wheels are off the ground. That's why the wheels aren't spinning. Okay. Right, let's get off of that, then. Go on, let's try and... Let's, let's let's go, come on. Oh, the wheels are spinning now. Come on. Put all wheels on. Ah. Yeah, I yes. thought we have to get another car and rip it down. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go and get the final vehicle, the track and go. <laughs> Again, this is by Hones. We'll put the Wii Woo on it. <laughs> um, right, so th yeah, this is a thing. This is really a thing. It's... it's uh, I guess it's for cars in snow and stuff. Yeah, because this thing made in his feet. Look, you can actually see the tracks rotating. Look, can you see that? Yep. So that's pretty good. That's a good. That's a good uh, move forward. So maybe soon we'll have, um, you know, uh, what Tracked do you call them? vehicles. Yeah. I don't know if it affects the speed or not. It probably will. This is a vehicle that gets dirty. Look, I like them a bit more realism. Yeah, this affects the speed a lot. It does, doesn't it? It affects the speed an awful lot. This is probably not going to make it. We've got all wheels on. Diff lock is always on. We're in top gear. And, yes. 
where you're not going particularly quickly, even with the Wii Wii light on. Is there a way I can... The Wii Wii light makes everything good. Yeah. But I tell you what though, these, I like these. So, <clears throat> these are actually manufactured by a company called Track N Go. And I reckon that you can get, well they reckon on their website, you can get all four wheels aligned. You know, you can get, you can get these things in all the four wheels within 15 minutes. The only problem is, you've got to carry them with you, so you've got to put them in the boot or on the top, so it means you've got no other space to carry anything else. Just put them on the top and just keep the boot for your shopping. Yeah, no, but you've got to put a fair, but you fit four of these things on the top of the car. You put a roof rack. No, but it's still, it's still too big. You wouldn't be able to put four of them on the top. Oh. So, it'll be interesting to see if we, we'll, do a, we'll find a little rut, a, a little um, tough bit. <clears throat> And we will see whether the and we'll see the whether the XC90 in its own can manage it, and then whether it makes any difference if you've got this thing on it. Dad, you forgot about the camera. I'm doing the camera for you. Doing the camera, okay. So look at that finger. You're doing what you're doing. What I know we're doing. Face it the wrong way, then whoever's driving's got to guess which way to go. That looks good, though, doesn't it? Yep. There you go. Made drive. Try and drive. <laughs> yep. Oops, drive. Push them out of the way. Definitely easier to handle though. Yeah, because it's a lot slower. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, giving it a good view there. Nice, no, look, nice detail. There's an orange brake. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. But okay. you're really going the wrong way. Yeah, we are. Orange brake pads? Yeah. Right. Let's hurry up and get to this blooming. Where is this jump anyway again? Over there. Where? Over there. I can't really see it over there. Yes. Yes. So, we're approaching the... Oh, the Wii U light. Jump. There's the Wii U light. You can just see the Wii U light of the other vehicle. He's not flashing, he's just on. Look, no, the Wii U actually has like a little thing that goes around. Look. Look on the side of the vehicle Oh, there. it does, doesn't it? Oh, come on. You should be able to get up here. The winch. You're going to need the winch on that one lone tree, and I don't think it's going to be close enough. I don't think the lone tree is close enough. Come on. We've got this flipping tracking go on. Should be able to get up here. Slowly doing it, I suppose. Come on. Come on, wee woo. Oh. Ew. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will go backwards, have a little bit of a run up. Come on. Not much of a run up. Come on. So it would appear that track and go doesn't add traction. That much more traction, if any at all. Got all wheels on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's getting a bit dark now, and we wanted to have another jump. We've got um, spin tires plus, so we should be able to like set the day, set it at daylight the whole time. But I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe someone could just tell me how to do that. Look at that wee light. Yeah. We're almost done. Yes. Slowly, slowly. Yes. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, let's just pull this pull this other vehicle away. So if someone ever made a map that had snow, this would be pretty There's a good. Mod for snow. What in this, is there? Is it? Yeah. I've never seen it. Look out for that one. I just shoved the <coughs> just shoved the Volvo XD90 off. Well, I want to try and do another jump. I've got to try and do a jump in one of these vehicles. All right, it should be. I'll go get that quickly. Go on, heave up.
Come on, Eve up. Oh, not accelerate release. Got it back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here right. we go. Have we got any? Um, have I got any more thingies I can repair? Nope. Uh, Weebo is empty. But you can repair the other one. With the other one. Oh yes. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Um, what we're doing here? V. What we'll do is we will line ourselves up. We're not sure whether the best. I think maybe this edge is the best place to hit it. We'll line ourselves up a bit further out, and then we're gonna wait till daylight, and then we'll make our attempts in daylight. I'll do a quick spin around here. There we go. Or should we just attempt do our attempt now? Just do it now. For some odd reason. With the reboot light on. Yeah. For some odd reason, this map makes me think of noodles. It looks like noodles because of all where all the way the track right, goes. Here we around. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, Which is dun, the bit. Okay, I don't think any place is good for hitting this. No, maybe you do. Maybe you do need to hit it from the other side. Oh my gosh, it is the other side. Is it? That's are we why. On the wrong side again. Yes, we are. Right, I want to change truck. You can just. I'm going to this one here. Repair. I want to do V. I want to repair. We who light. We who light. Right. So is he repaired? Okay, change truck again. Onto this one. Right. Right, this time we're going to go down here. We're going to go on the other side, okay? Yep. Oh, there's a little passageway there. Yeah, that's right, just in case you can't. Like we like us, can't get over the flipping jump. Right, well, that's better. Look at that. Ooh! Ooh, damn! Okay. Ready? We see the lead, we see the wee light ahead of us. Go go go! Here we go. Where's dun. the bridge? Dun 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 dun. Where's the bridge of doom? Over there, over there. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. on that bombshell. None cars made it. <laughs> that was a total failure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, there's the three mods: the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee by oh, I, t I should have mentioned the names: Kal Kalyan and Yansors. That's the Greek, Greek the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The Volvo XC90 and XC90 Track and Go was Hones. Ranger of the Sport was Shark 777, and this map was the DCMT Raceway Brown Bomber by Dr. Gonzo. Yeah. Good mods. Yep. Good map. Yep. Yeah, so remember to subscribe, like our just subscribers we get that brand new gaming computer. Yep. And that'll be a goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. Click one of these boxes to watch another one of our videos and remember to click subscribe to subscribe.